Well, okay, this Darlene's coming after us. Well, we got spear number three now. Look at that. Off with your head. Or at least the top half of your head. Maybe the top two thirds. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of Diamond, old guy gaming, and we are picking up right where we left off. Uh, we are in Trader Jin's compound. We just got here in the, at the end of the last episode. Uh, so before we uh, loot Trader Jin, um, we're going to put down a drop chest and offload all the things that we're not going to sell to her uh, so that we make room to, you know, to loot more stuff, so... There we go. Right in the mouth. Or eye, maybe. Okay. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest. And we're just going to stick it down right across the street here. Okay, so we want to keep all ammunition. I guess I'll keep those two. We're going to sell this. We'll keep those with us. Uh, we're going to hang on to all heavy armor, but we're not going to wear heavy armor until we get a full set. Yeah, no, we're thirsty. Keeping that. We're selling this. We're keeping that. Selling this, this, this. Keeping all of this stuff. Let's lay this down. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep those. Selling that. Uh, we'll keep the stones on us. Okay, yeah, so let's just pop this down here in case uh, something bad happens. And while we're at it, let's see if we can actually loot this... Um, this ambulance. Is that a sleeper or a corpse? Oh, there's a chicken. I think that's a corpse. Really? That's all we get? Lame. Let's go uh, take a peek in here. Did that chicken actually go inside of this little shack here? Uh, don't see him in here. All that stuff sucks. All right, that's something. A little bit of wood action. Oh, there is a sleeper there. Okay. Oh, a bunny and a Marlene. That's Marlene's coming. We're going to have to forego the bunny. Come here, Marlene. Okay, is the bunny still around? Wife, oh, there's the bunny. Wife, I was way over there. For Pete's sake. There we go. Um, that might be enough lead to actually sell, so let's keep it. Get some plastic from the tire. Because, you know, plastic and rubber are the same exact thing. 
Everybody knows that. Come on, stamina. Ooh, nice glue. Okay, let's quit screwing around out here and get to the business at hand. Um, so we'll start looting this. More lead to potentially sell. And we'll keep the coffee seed for now. Okay, blueberry seeds. We'll just kind of work our way this way with the looting. Don't think there's going to be anything in there. Oh, yeah, we want to keep that door closed. You think? Okay, we'll grab all that for now. Come on, give us something good. That's not necessarily what I would call something good. It's something. Not necessarily something good. We can't pick that chair up to scrap it. Ooh, bookshelf. All right, what do we got? Improves harvesting tool crafting skill. Beautiful. Hey, do we get a point, by the way? We do. All right, we're going to put that point in perception, so the next point we get, we can put in Spearmaster, and we're al already almost to the next point. I've been remiss in not uh, leveling up there. Okay, let's go around this way. i got to say, the game definitely looks a lot better. Bunch of cornmeal. Ah, oh, nice, a forge ahead. Okay, that lets us make the dew collector. Uh, let's see if we can sell that gasoline to gin. Uh, another, another forge ahead. Cool. Okay, we'll take this. Wonder what the chances are in Alpha 21 of finding a working workstation in the wild. It was damn near impossible in Alpha 20. It just almost never happened. It did happen, but it was super, super rare. Like, super rare. Okay, take that. How about some water? Well, there's some more meat there. A little dry coffee. Some cat chow. Two potatoes. Great, we can make baked potatoes. No, more corn and potato seed. So this isn't going too bad. Look at that. All right. Not too bad at all. It's dark in here. Shoe shelf. Um, these do not give us the running buff. And I think... What are... Two, 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 three. These are actually just slightly better. So we'll sell those. Come on, water. There we go. Yeah, I know you're thirsty. Just hang in there, dude. As soon as we sell to Jen, we can get some money and get some food and water for you. Electrical crafting skill. Salvage tool crafting skill. Oh, nice. We can make a wrench now. That is really nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, I think that's all we can loot in here. Nope, never mind. Um, This is not as good as what we have, and we we already have one of those, but let's grab that one, we'll compare the two, and we'll sell the one that's not as good. Okay, super. Is there anything over here? We can't pick anything up. Anything lootable in this triage tent here. Doesn't look like it. And that brings us around full circle. Okay, let's go. Oh, actually, no, I don't think we did the ambulance. Let's do the ambulance. Nice. That means, ladies and gentlemen, we can eat if we need to. Old sham sandwiches. We are encumbered. Did we look in here? No, we didn't. Look at that. We missed out on seven pieces of scrap iron. That would have been terrible. Hi, Jen. Don't mind me. I'm going to go hang out in your confessional for a while because God knows I need to. Lots to confess. Books. Rifle crafting. Beautiful. Is this another... Yeah. 
Another room with books in it. Bow crafting. Also beautiful. Okay, we'll look at the vending machines. Actually, I want to look at something, though. Um, so it looks like she charges 180 for a can of food that gives 15 We can't afford candy right now. And water is 120 So I want to see if she... Because in Alpha 20, the trader's food, if you bought food from the trader, was more expensive than the vending machine. So I wonder if that's changed now. Oh, wow, look at this. She's got, like, some kind of hydroponics thingy going on. Aloe and lettuce? Huh, interesting. Okay, Jen, is there anything else we can rob from you? I mean, um, borrow from you? Come on, give me some water. Oh, beautiful. Marvelous, darling. You look marvelous. Love it. Okay, I think uh, we can't go in there. So I think we've looted everything we can from Jen. Hi. May I see your inventory? Okay, so I could repair this with one of the pipes I have, but I think we need to keep use one of the pipes we have, probably to make a pipe weapon of some sort. So we're just going to sell this as is. I know we'd make a little more money, but that's the way it goes. Um, acid is wonderful, but we're going to sell it now because uh, we can't use it right now. We need the money desperately. So it it looks like when you click on this, it automatically selects the whole stack, which is really useful because you just have to shift click it for it to select the whole stack. So that is very nice. We got, uh, oh nice, we got a level up too. Okay, so um, I'm going to sell the machine gun parts. We're going to sell those. We're going to sell the money. We're going to sell these. Sell as many of those as we can. I'm going to chuck those. Um, we'll sell this. Look at that. We're already up to 585. That and that. We'll sell the nails. And uh, the electrical parts. We might want to hang on to the cornmeal, I think. We're going to eat those. Sell the gas. She doesn't want it. Okay, you know what? Forget the gas. It's not enough to do anything with at this point. You want paper? Nope. Uh, you want those? Okay, I'm getting rid of that stuff. We will collect that for gardening later, but gardening's not a priority right at the moment. It probably should be, but it isn't. Okay, great. So, uh, let's look at her food. Okay, so she sells water for the same price as the vending machine. So let's buy two of these. And let's buy a golden rod. Ooh, a bacon and eggs. Nice. Um... We can afford one of those, but that's going to give us 36 food. Fantastic. Okay. Well, you just brightened my day. Uh, you brightened my day, too, because we seriously need to drink and eat. So we're going to throw that back. We're going to throw this back. I, d I don't understand why we don't get jars anymore. That doesn't make any freaking sense at all. You know what? Let's just drink all three of those. Because we can convert these two into fresh water later once we get a, a base set up. So that's going to help us. It's not going to get us all the way back up, but it's going to help us fair, a fair amount. Now, let's eat this. And we're going to down both of these, which will take some of our water back away again. But it is what it is. We can still also make baked potatoes, roasted corn, uh, charred meat for the moment. And later on, cornmeal. So that's why, since we have so many of those, that's why I'm going to hang on to those. Okay, let's take a job from you. Uh, we'll do this fetch at the Wet's residence. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not to um, get radiated. Right. Okay, so we don't have any money left to buy anything out of here, but that's okay because we spent the money uh, with Jin directly. And actually, yeah, wait, we got to eat this too. So our hydration's up to here, and after that bacon and eggs is done, uh, we will be probably at about 60% or so on both hydration and food, which is actually really good. <laughs> it's as good as we've been, we've been so far. Uh, okay, so next order of business. It is noon, so we still have some daylight left. So we need to figure out where we're going to live. 
Um, I believe I mentioned earlier that I'd like to live in a nice residential house this time because we spent the almost the entire season of Undead Legacy at the top of the Deshong Tower, which was cool, but I want a, a more homey feeling home this time. Huzzah. Okay, so let's loot this. Maybe not that so much. We'll go get the chicken. And before we go and grab a, all of our crap, ooh, blood forest. Hmm, wonder what's in the blood forest. Maybe I don't want to know. Uh, let's figure out where we're going to live first. So that's a barn. Don't really want to live in a barn. That's a grain mill. Don't really want to live in a grain mill. Um, let's see what's over this way. I want to stay close to the trader. We don't have to stay right neck across the street from her, but I want to stay close to her. And I really need to not try and loot a bunch of shit right now. So we can get to where we need to go and get settled in. Okay. However, we will loot bird's nest because bird's nest. A little froggy out. Marlene, I'd like you to go a little further away from me than you currently are. There you go. I don't think you've had a shower in about eight years, so yeah. Keep your distance, please. Uh, all right, so we got this kind of mansion-looking place there. We also got that place. That looks like a, maybe it's a remnant, which isn't a bad thing because we can fix it up. Plus, it probably doesn't have as many Zikaroos in it. Let's just poke our head around the corner and look at this place because this looks new. I don't, I don't recognize this POI here. Watch there be a dog in the backyard. Ooh, that's a three skull situation there. Uh, that might be a little more than we want to take on right at the moment. You think? I'm kind of thinking this, um, I think this is a remnant place. And that'd be perfect, because then we can fix it up. We'll get a bunch of XP and have fun doing it. Let's go take a peek over here. Okay, so yeah, if I look at it, it says the Alabaster Residence, but it doesn't have any skulls, which I think means it's... A remnant. And that doesn't mean it's completely zombie free, but it means it's not likely to have as many Zeeks in it as, you know, like a, a quest house would. Bet you there's a zombie behind those doors. Or not. Okay. Well, before we mess with the ground floor I'd prefer to to try and secure the upper floor this is going to be safer thought I heard footsteps Okay, so why don't we make ourselves a ladder going right up here. Probably going to need four, maybe five-ish. Okay, we can't put one there because 
This crap's in the way. Oh, only 500 hit points. I, I thought that was going to be like concrete or something. Okay, let's climb up here. There might be a zombo in that closet. I think that attic up there is where we probably want to make it happen. Make the magic happen. So let's uh let's just come up here. Uh what's going on here? Nothing. Right, let's get ready. Okay, not in here. Looks clear. Okay, nice. Let's loot this. We got an upgraded bone knife. Yay. Scrap this. Repair this. Okay, let's see what's in the crack book. Ragdoll for the clubs, 2x mod, and club crafting. It's all about the clubs. All right, let's remove this because I think we're going to put the bedroll in this corner here. Uh, speaking of, oh, you know what? We don't have it. We left that on the road. Uh, I should probably go get some grass and make a new one just in case we uh, get killed on our way back. And I'm going to remove this because it's in a shitty spot. Plus, it doesn't have as many slots as a normal wood chest does. Okay, so maybe we'll put our storage chest along this wall for now. And let's start offloading things that we don't need to take back with us to the trader. Um, or to, back with us to go get the, the stuff that we left at the trader is what I meant to say. Which is pretty much just about everything in here. Let's keep one of those with us just in case we get a laceration. We'll keep a little bit of wood with us. Let's keep that with us. And uh, that should give us enough room, I think, to get the rest of that stuff. But I would like to... secure this, at least this room, first. Okay, there's a Marlene in there. Really? <laughs> We're like shaving the hair on the back of her neck. There we go. Are you dead? Yeah, she's dead. Okay. All right, let's go into here. Careful and quiet like. Close that door. A couple of our arrows back anyway. Dang, I'm glad these floors aren't uh, collapsing. Oh, shit. Where's that? Here, let's fix that up. Is, is that what she's hitting? Yeah, okay. Come on, stamina. Good. 
Oh, you know what we need to do? Uh, Spearmaster. There. There we go. Look at the books in there. Um, you know what? Those books can wait. We need to get a bedroll down upstairs and get everything secured. And I'm going to patch up this floor here, too, because I don't want to fall through it. Maybe I'll leave that loose so we can pull it back up and look down in there later. Can we reach those books from here? We'll just leave that. The, excuse me. Leave that the way it is. Okay. So, um, let's head back to the trader. Get uh, the stuff out of our chest next. Oh shit! Running horde. Is it just you? I thought I saw more than just one of them coming. I think I did, but he's the one that actually saw us. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, it's just my imagination. I was sworn I saw more than one. But, I mean, one's bad enough, so... Yeah. Okay, let's get our stuff out of here. And we want to pick up our bedroll. But we want to keep that on our toolbar so we can plop it down really quick if we get in trouble. All right, let's head on back. <clears throat> in the event that I did actually see more than one zombie, we need to be careful when we come over this way. There is an Edgar over there. Why don't we make some more arrows? Uh, because we've been looting a lot of feathers. Come on, Edgar. Run. Go away. Like far away. He just doesn't care. I don't really want to go through this forest because I can't see. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go back around this way. And we'll circle around on the road. So at least we can see what's going on better this way. We do need to be mindful of the sleeper that's right on the other side of that ambulance, though. There's another house there, but I kind of like the one we're in now. See? We would have ran right into Darlene. There's two Darlene's. Well, okay, this Darlene's coming after us. Well, we got spear number three now. Look at that. Off with your head. Or at least the top half of your head. Maybe the top two-thirds. And there's a Nurse Nancy over that way. Is 
some more corn over there we can grab later. I'm not going to get it right now. Let's loot this minivan. It's got a Texas license plate. Oh, all right. We'll take that stuff. We do, in fact, need a shovel. And now we have a level two stone shovel. I don't think those burned looking cars are lootable. All right. Safe and sound back at the base. First thing we're going to do is put our spawn point down. There we go. Now we can die. No, we can't actually. Not allowed. But if we do die, at least we're, <clears throat> we'll respawn in a safe spot. Okay, so uh, let's put all of this stuff in here. We need to make ourselves a campfire. We'll keep that stuff in our inventory. Let's grab this and one of these. Um, these and one of these two armor pieces can be sold. Okay, let's put the campfire, oh, right here's good enough. Beautiful, absolutely marvelous, darling. Okay, let's cook up the water, the potatoes, the corn. We're not doing boiled eggs because it takes water to do boiled eggs. I might hold off on the meat to see if we can come up with a uh, enough points to make grilled meat. Okay, so we are a little more thirsty than we are hungry, so let's do the water first. Then we will do the baked potatoes. Then we will do the corn. All right, so that's a total of three, four, five, six, seven-ish minutes. Oh, we already have 13 minutes of burn time in there. Meantime, we'll just eat these raw. Beauty. Absolutely beauty. Okay, so. Um... Let's do a little bit of repair work while we're waiting for that food to cook. Because um, when nighttime comes around, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot. Just because with feral sense, they'll be able to hear us and they'll potentially start ruining the house down below, which of course we don't want them to do. But what we could do... Now that we have our bed rolled down, is we could see if we could do a little more clearing. I'd like to get to those books there on this floor here. Shit. Close, close. Oh, man. Come on, man. You should have closed. Why didn't you close? I'm sure glad we have uh, the next level in Spears. Okay. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. Let's repair that. Repair that. 
Hold on, before we start doing this shit, we gotta make sure the rest of the place is secure. Let's at least do that. Oh, yeah, like that's gonna do a lot of good. Um... Oh, no, it's there. It's just invisible. Okay, let's check out this room. We already killed Darlene, who was in the closet in this room, but that doesn't mean there isn't another Zombo in here. Oh, or it does. Okay, look at this book pile. All right, electrical crafting skill. Shotgun crafting. Handgun crap. Okay, all that's going to be useful at some point. Check the desk. And I think that's really probably about all there is in this room for us for now. Is there anything behind these, these pictures? I don't know. That just gives us broken glass. Okay, let's clear this crap off the floor. All right, let's look in here. Nice. He was the only Zeke that was in here. Ooh, look at that. Wall safe. It'll be a little while before we mess with that. I mean, we do have like three lockpicks, but chances of us opening a wall safe with three lockpicks, not super good. <coughs> what do I need to make a wrench? I probably need a workbench. Or do I? No, but I knew I do need 12 forged iron. I don't think we can make the forge yet, can we? No. Oh sh think we're okay. Stay cool and quiet. There's a businessman over there. He's already heard us. Yeah, stand right there. Be stupid. Oh, okay. He's not being stupid. Whew. That was close. dead. Let's get our arrows. All right. You know what? Um, let's not mess with him right now. Okay. So we fell through the floor there. It looks like that was probably the only block that did that, though. Uh, what I was about to say before that happened is, can we make a wrench? But then we couldn't. So we're going to take this apart with the axe, because we're still going to get some good materials. Well, not super good materials, but... Just running across the rest of that really fast to make sure it's okay. This door's locked. Any zombadoodles in here? Don't think so. 
it's it's so interesting that holes in doors now are actual holes in doors in this one. What the hell? Damn, I gotta be <laughs> gotta be more careful. This house is a death trap, man. That was lucky. Okay, let's get some water, hopefully. Oh man. Paper and toilets. Toilet paper. Well, hello there. Can't really hit him in the head, so I'm gonna have to just aim for his nuts. That was sneak damage? How was that sneak damage? That wasn't sneak damage. Let's get our arrows back. Oh, yeah, right. Axe. Nice. That doesn't... Ha oh, I was going to say, that doesn't happen very often on these difficulty settings, like one-shotting this early in the game. Okay. What time is it? It's 7.30 p.m. Here are those. Let's um let's block that. There's some books, but there's probably also a zombadu in that closet. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Sledgehammer crafting. And two. Oh, look at that. Two. Not one, ladies and gentlemen, but two spear crafting skills. I love it. Now we can make a level three quality spear. Fan frickin' tastic. We just need some grass, which we have upstairs. We could even grab some out of here, except for there's a zombie right outside there. All right, let's see what happens when we do this. Looks like there's a Jiggly in there. I can't reach her. Oh, never mind. Stamina, stamina, stamina. There we go. into here. Yeah, I know. We got water upstairs. Look at that. Level 3 spear. It's a beautiful thing. Scrap that. Scrap this. Uh, we'll read that. What was that? Medical? Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully when we get to level 5 on that, we can make bandages. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here to loot. Laundry room. Okay, give us some good clothes. Those are not good clothes. Take plastic. Look at that. Okay. 
Uh, there, we'll do it that way. Get some more iron arrows. Is there a basement in there? Oh shit! There is. Which means they're probably going to, uh... You coming? Uh, there's probably going to be more booby-trapped floors in there, too. You're not going to come around this way, dude? Durability of one or more armor items has been weakened. Come at me, bruh. And bruh at. Stamina? Here, let's give you a bleed. There you go. Oh, well, okay. That's all we needed to do. Okay, I tell you what, let's, we'll leave the rest of the main floor for tomorrow. It's getting kind of late. We still have one more room up here we haven't actually done either, so. Come on, stamina. I think we've checked everything in here, right? the floor collapse no but look what we can do looky what we can do okay so that's our second heavy armor piece we'll take it all right Whoops. Let's make some more water. Um, and we're going to chow down on... Oh, we get 10 from a potato. That's not bad. Let's eat the potato. And eat the potato. And drink... One water and two waters. What do we get for corn? Also get ten for corn and five health. Ooh, that takes water away, though. Shit, really? Why? A juicy corn on the cob should not make you thirsty. Oh, man. I didn't even realize that. I wonder if the potatoes did, too. Wasn't paying attention. All right, we might hold off on that until we can get the dew collector made. Um... Which reminds me, we can make that. Do we have everything we need to make it? Do, collector. Let's see. We can pin this now, right? Is that what this does? No. We're supposed to be able to pin the recipes. How do we do that? Track. There we go. We just have to remember to turn that back off because if we do a quest later, this, it won't show up if that's on. Let's drink some boiling water. That's bullshit that we don't get those jars back. All right. Um, there, look in here. We know we're going to need pipes. We know we're going to need... Uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to make duct tape. I mean, we're going to be able... We can make some, but I don't think we can make enough. We need four. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to be on the lookout for more glue and or duct tape before we can actually make this. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Fair enough, though. Fair enough. I mean, we're not doing terrible. We, uh, we had a pretty damn rough start, but we're not doing absolutely terrible right now. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of hold off on that until we can, um, hopefully get the dew collector going. So let's put all the rest of this stuff in there. I don't know what we would need that for at this point in time. Uh, let's put a couple of those in there, too. And... Yeah, I think we're in a reasonably good position, ladies and gentlemen. Reasonably good. We should be able to repair that. Wait, what? Oh, you can no longer repair them whilst you're wearing them. Has it always been that way? Maybe it has always been that way. I don't remember. I can't remember. Okay, so I'm going to just hunker down here at night, not make any noise, not make any light, not make any sounds, and wait until morning. And when morning starts, we will start the next episode, and we need to find glue. Because um, I think we have everything else we need for this. If we put, oh, we got to buy, oh, that's right. We got to buy the filter from Jin, but um, if we do enough looting, we should be able to make enough coin to do that. I think it costs 1500 if I remember right from watching some other YouTubers. So yeah, more looting, more glue and or duct tape and enough shit to sell to make 1500 bucks so that we can buy this. And it looks like we also need one more pipe, but we can get that from destroying a toilet. So I'm not too worried about that. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. I just attracted the attention of a zombie by closing my chest with feral sense on. Not smart, but it's not that big a deal either. Bye.